Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James and welcome back to The Soundline. So today what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is our theatre room here in our Christchurch premises and we're doing a bit of a uh, tour today and talking about some of the gear that we've used, what is currently set up in here. We change components and projectors and all sorts of stuff in here quite regularly but this is just a bit of a brief overview of the stuff that we have in here at the moment. So the very first thing you notice when you walk into this room is just how lovely and quiet it is. It's, it's quite a dead sound and the reason for that is we've got a lot of acoustic treatment put up in here. We actually did a whole YouTube video on that detailing the installation so if you do want to go check that out we'll put a card up in the top right hand corner of this video. But Moving on to the actual product, what we do have here is Art Novian. We took it on kind of as a trial product to see what difference it made and we are absolutely thrilled with the outcome with it so we have taken it on as a full-time product and have done four or five different full cinema um, projects with it now and every layer is designed specific to the room to give you the best result. So we have absorbers, we have diffusers on the back wall and on the ceiling as well as some absorbers up there. Uh, these ones here that you see with all the funny lines and the, the bumps in the wall, these are actually hybrid absorber diffusers. So there is an absorption panel in the slots here, as well as these wood slats acting as diffusers. And then over in the corner here, in both rear corners of the wall, we have base traps as well, and that helps to mitigate some of the standing waves created by the fact that the room is a standard rectangle. So that is the acoustic treatment of the room. To hear the difference it makes, you really have to come down and see us you'll notice it as soon as you walk into the room even if there's no musical movies playing because it just sounds great in here all round. Moving up the front here the next most obvious thing that you see is the speaker configuration so in this room we are running a full Dolby Atmos setup which is configured in 7.2.4 as far as what speakers we're using at the moment we have got pretty much a full Sonus Faber setup in here at the moment we have the Sonus Faber Sonito 8s the center, the, the big center 2 by Sonos Faber Sonito range, as well as some Sonito 3s and some Sonito 1s at the back. For subwoofers, we use JL Audio. They are absolutely our favorite brand to use. They make some of the best home audio subwoofers in the world. So these are the E112s, part of the E sub line, 12 inch subwoofers, two of them. And we always, always, always do two subs. Uh, whether that is 12 inches, 10 inches, or part of the entry level range or high end range, Rule of thumb that we always follow is we always do two because two basic subwoofers or two smaller ones is actually more than twice as good as one really high end one. In terms of our high channels we have four Sonance VP86's custom in ceiling speakers. Moving on from audio equipment now looking at some of the visual equipment in the room you'll see this great big screen next to me this is 135 inch uh, Stewart screens it's a Studio Tech 130 fourth generation this is an amazing screen. They're all uh, made in America, very, very high quality. This screen here uh, we got some years ago, but even back then it was rated for 8K resolution. The reason for that is when you look up really close at the material of the screen, you can't actually even see the fibers because there has been a thin uh, layer of, it's kind of like a paint, it's a specially formulated polymer designed to reflect light that has been laying and sprayed um, on there so it means that no matter how small your pixels are you'll be able to reflect it accurately so even theoretically in the next five or ten years if we have a 16k projector this screen will actually be able to work for it and it's very high quality. In terms of projectors what we have at the moment is the JVC N5 this is the entry level um, residential 4k projector that they do it's still a very good quality one what we would normally have in here is either something like a JVC N5, N7 or NX9 or the other models that we quite like to use are the Sony VP, VW270, 370, 760 and our absolute favourite projector of them all has got to be the Sony VP870. That thing is a beast and it has got sharpness from edge to edge. But this is what we're using at the moment, it's still an awesome projector. Yeah, so in terms of what we're using to control all of the you know, speakers and projector and everything in here, for our AV receiver or processor I should say, we're currently running the new Arcam AV40 which has got up to 16 channels of processing in it as well as three potential direct live uh, EQ settings that we can use in it so we really like this one so far. From that we are running some RCA and balanced signal cables down to a couple of power amps that we got here. Um, got a 
1075 at the moment, Rotel RB1075, so that's a bit of an old school one, and an RB1585, uh, as well as an Arkham P49. And this one uh, we ha have had, you know, for a, a decent amount of time now, but it's still an awesome four channel amp. That's just running our height channels, and then these bottom two here are running the floor level channels. And we have enough extra channels on these amps at the moment that if we wanted to, I could even add some uh, a 13th and 14th channel potentially, like um, front wides or something like that. And then in terms of sources, we have the Panasonic UB9000 for a 4K Blu-ray player. We've also got an Apple TV 4K in here so that we can stream Netflix and Apple TV Plus and Disney and that sort of content. All in 4K Dolby Atmos of course. And then to control it all, you can't see it here, but in this upper shelf here, we've got a Control 4 EA1 processor, which is just, you know, that's the brains of the operation. That's how we control everything nicely from one remote or an app or a tablet or something like that. Um, and that controls our receiver, controls our Blu-ray player and our Apple TV, controls the projector, and it all does it either via infrared or over IP. It makes life a lot easier. Just regarding that um, Control 4 EA1, that we have in here at the moment. Down here on the coffee table we have three or four different you know, ways of controlling that. Obviously you can do it from an app on your phone or tablet if you want to do it that way, but for someone who wants something that is a bit more tactile and can feel it in their hands, we have got here two remotes. This is the RSK260. Now this is the one that comes as standard with most uh, Control 4 processor bundles. You can see it's got a lot of tactile buttons on it. We find a lot of our customers who have, you know, grown up with or been very used to using tactile remote buttons, this is very popular for them. But for the more tech enthusiast, Control 4 released this new remote here called the Neo, and as you can see it's a lot more uh, minimal design, it's only got a few buttons on here, and then a nice big touch screen on the top which you can you know, tap on and navigate, and then different soft buttons will appear on that based on what you're trying to do. And it has a very nice feel to it as well, very nice um, kind of a, a rubberized plastic feel to it, very, very high quality. And then we also have a dedicated Control 4 um, tablet here as well. This would be relatively the same as having an iPad, you know, just left or, or a different tablet left on the coffee table running. The advantage with this is that the whole operating system of this tablet is just Control 4, which means as soon as you pick it up it's ready to go and, and sync. You don't have to worry about unlocking the iPad and finding the app and opening it up and that sort of thing. And from all of those devices, as I said, we can control all of the audio video gear we've got in here, but also the lights, because we have a Lutron automation system in this building. So I can tap on here, and I can go into lighting, and we have basically got a couple of presets here that we have mimicked off the Palladium keypad that we have at the back of the room. So if I want to put it into relax mode or movie mode, all I have to do once it's started playing is tap on relax, and now it's going to dim the lights to like about 50%. So this is a nice brightness to be watching a movie, but also you can still socialize with your friends and see what you're doing if you're eating popcorn or something like that. So that's everything currently that we have in our theater room here at our Christchurch showroom. Guys, so if you want to experience it, feel free to come on by. We'll play you a movie or two, like get you into it. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. Kakitiano.